And, you know, you think back, Mike Sosha, for the amount of years that he's been with the Angels, I mean, the longest tenured manager with one team, when you think about other sports and what their coaches, head coaches, have done, similar position and the success. And we bring this up because Mike Sosha's contract is up at the end of this year. Wow. You know, I sit there with Bill Belichick, and I, I had no idea he had been there that long. 19 years, uh, a 10-year contract. I think he said history of that contract as a major league manager. The team is not reacting right now. I don't know what's going to happen here because most great managers have already talked extension uh, before the season. So he could be at a no man's land right now if this team doesn't get any better. And, and once again, that one manager's out there, Joe Girardi with World Series championships Ooh. without a team. And interesting that Mike Trout, who's we know the, is outstanding, has been to the postseason just once and now his seventh full season. And it doesn't look good, at least at this stage of the season for the Angels. We saw Machado with the slide. We know he's a free agent at the end of the year, a terrific young player that it seems like every day a new team pops up. We heard, OK, is it the Diamondbacks, the Phillies now more recently, maybe the Dodgers and Cubs willing to trade for him? They both are. They both want him. And, Chris, I wonder, maybe tonight's game at Dodger Stadium, winner gets Manny. What do you think? They just compete right there at Dodger Stadium. The winner gets to trade for Manny. The Cubs Machado. seem loaded in that area. The Dodgers have Turner if he's healthy. Well, yes, and but with the Cubs, Chris Bryant now has been out at least for a period of time. Yeah, sure. You could play Manny at short. Uh, oh, maybe Addison okay. Russell becomes a part of that trade. That's right. And he could play Baez short still. to help uh, Seager Precisely. out for the Dodgers. Exactly. So, and, and then, again, when you think about these two teams, I love this, Frank, because – we're seeing rivalries build. We love rivalries in our game. They give our game texture. And we've now seen the Cubs and Dodgers play back-to-back -back NLCSs. Each team has won one of them. And now you wonder if, if they're going to meet again and if Machado could be the swing piece that makes whichever team gets them the NL champion. Well, you look at uh, a superstar that's a free agent next year. He is the number one blue chip game changer. Yes. Whoever acquired this guy has a superstar on a roster that really can help them get to the pennant. Yeah, but I think both the Cubs and Dodgers pitching it may be more of a need, but certainly Machado would be a nice help. His name possibly being talked about for trade discussions? Yes. I, I checked with a source on this last night, Chris, and was told just starting. So there have now been some teams that have seen enough of him in a Reds uniform to say, I'm interested. And it would not surprise me at all if one team it's calling is the team you're seeing him face right there. The Atlanta Braves. The Braves have had a number of pitchers sort of been in and off of the DL the last month or so. Harvey is some insurance. Uh, he could be at least. And from talking to Scott Boris, his agent, he really, Scott mentioned the, the coaching, the fit's been good there. He just needed some more repetition to get his stuff back in line, get the command back. It's, it's been a good relationship for him with Danny Darwin, your former teammate there, Frank, uh, interim pitching coach at Cincinnati. So it's been a different Harvey and a better one of late for the Reds. Well, for me, it looked like he's gotten back in his shape. He's got his focus back. He's pitching very well, and he's starting to believe in himself again. We know how great this guy was a few years ago. And, you know, he had some problems off the field. He's picking it back up now. I'm happy for him because it was really tough for him to leave New York, and everyone thought he was out of baseball or in AAA. He's back competing very well at the big league level. And wherever he's traded, you don't think he should be traded to New York? No, even don't the, go back. The other New no, York team. <laughs> stay out of New York. New York is not for everybody. All right, but I'm happy for Matt Harvey. He's really, he really looked in the mirror and picked his career right back where it was. At age 29, yep, some arm left there.